Now this lecture is going to be on the D-Day invasion, June 6, 1944. Now after Japan had bombed Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, we had responded by officially declaring war on them. And because Germany was Japan's ally, Germany turns around and declares war on the United States. Now just because we were officially at war in two different places in the world, in Europe and in Asia, we weren't ready to launch an attack right away. We needed time to ramp up our production of war materials like uh, ammunition, tanks, jeeps, airplanes, guns, all of those things. We also needed time to get a much bigger military. Now the U.S. government drafted huge numbers of men that they needed to train to be able to fight. Now there was considerable support back home in the United States for the war and we're going to talk about that. It's called the home front during World War II, but we'll talk about that in another lecture. This lecture will be about the United States and our allies, our first major attempt to attack Nazi Germany and try to get control over Europe. Now this attack is called D-Day and it occurred on the beaches of Normandy, France. Now D-Day on the beaches of Normandy, France, this, to this day, this is the single largest seaborne invasion in human history. Now never before had a military attack like this had, had been had been attempted. It's always easier for a country to defend their territory than it is for another country to come in and invade it. Now this was a case in Normandy. The Germans had taken over this possession and they held on to it for quite some time. You know they had time that they could build concrete fort for guns. They had time to bury mines in the sand. They had time to place barbed wire on the beaches. And they had time to build steel structures that would slow down any of the military uh, equipment that we try to bring onto the beach. Now the casualties, those who were killed or were wounded for the Allied forces were absolutely huge, at least, at least 10,000 soldiers. Now the Germans, they only suffered around 1,000 casualties. So keep that in mind, for every German who was either killed or wounded, the Allied lost 10 soldiers. Now we paid a heavy, heavy price to take this area and to get at least a toehold in on Europe. Now from here, we were going to la launch future attacks on the Germans. With all these obstacles in the way, the Allied soldiers, they were asked to face terrible, terrible things. They were asked to face machine guns coming from the beaches and coming from the hills. They, were, they had to evade mines that were there. They had to, to go through barbed wire, steel structures. They had to jump off their boats, take the beach, fight up the cliffs, and try to take out the German guns. It was a terrible, terrible thing to ask of these soldiers. And, and of course, thousands of them lost their lives in this one single battle for many of them. This would be their very first and, of course, their very last battle for many of the soldiers. Now, the beaches of Normandy, so you get an idea of where this is. The beaches of Normandy, France, they're directly south of England. Now, what had happened was ships that were full of soldiers, equipment, and supplies, they left from several of these seaside cities in England. They met up in the English Channel, and th from there, they launched their assault on the beaches. The D-Day invasion, it's called Operation Overland. And it's important to realize it was not only American troops involved with this invasion. There were troops from England and Canada who stormed the beaches with us that day. It's also important to note that Canada was heavily involved in World War II. And a lot of times people think Canada's been able to avoid wars and that's, that's simply not the case. In fact, per capita, Canada lost more soldiers in World War II than the United States did. Now, the greatest number of deaths that occurred in Operation Overlord or the, the storming of these beaches occurred in Utah and in particular in Omaha and those were the beaches that the U.S. soldiers took. Now this is going to be the first location that the Allied forces that they're going to begin their major attack on Germany but other things have been going on. There was, there you can see the beaches of Normandy. Here there was an eastern front where Russia have been fighting Germany for quite some time. And there was, have been some other previous battles in Africa, as also in Italy. But the taking of the beaches at Normandy, this would be the beginning of the end for Germany.